Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. It's going to be a reading for the sign of Libra. As always, the readings are general, so they may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest, and characters always can be vice versa. It's my last reading, so I'm a little drained right now. And I need some water. <laughs> but also, I wanted to say, I got a few new decks, so I am going to be reading a lot out of the book in this, so I apologize if you hate that. But I feel like a lot of these readings, I'm sorry, a lot of these cards have very important messages that we need to hear right now. I'm going to be starting off with this Enchanted Map deck. All right, what's going on with Libra? Of course, sorry to start with the same theme as all these other readings. It's crazy. Compass. All right, I'm going to go into my analogy here. This is about kind of like following your true north, right? So, say you're on a train, right? That's going north. The train's not going to turn. It's not going to go backwards. I mean, it could go backwards, but most likely trains go straight, right? And think about a video game where there's all these little things that you need to pick up along the way. The thing that you need or want might be a mile down the train tracks, but you're going the right way. You can't screw up the true north. You can't screw up the compass, right? If you're following a compass, it's pretty hard to screw it up. <laughs> all right, strength. Um, this is about just strength in general, but this is also... Thank God I know some of these cards now. <laughs> and this is also about strength and believing in a higher power. And again, with this compass. Um, strength and believing that a higher power is leading you down this correct pathway. Alright. Mountain. Ooh, I've never pulled this one before. A new one. Ride the wave. More going with the flow, right? All these readings have been about like, you're on the right path. Stop freaking out. All right. Ride the wave. Right now, success is easy and effortless. You can be assured that entering a time when you can ride the wave abundance. The tide is turned. You can put everything, put your surfing skills to test. Everything that you know, all your talents coupled with your hopes and dreams will carry you forward. People and circumstances have come out of the ocean of potential and possibility to take shape in a wave of spectacular activity. Know that you are definitely on the right path. A lot of these cards say that. They're all about, this is what this whole map thing is about. It's a very interesting deck. I feel like, I don't know. Anyway, so you're on the right path. Follow the compass. Keep going. Mountain, you have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. This is your time to adapt. Sometimes you'll come across what appears to be an insurmountable obstacle, like a huge mountain that separates you from your success. You might think that climbing it or chiseling away at it is the answer, but way to take treacherous, tedious approach. Be like the rivers and flow around mountains naturally, right? <laughs> Ride the wave. Um, You'll move past this obstacle relatively quickly if you choose the easy way around. This is a time to adapt to your circumstances. If you do decide to climb, remember to take one step at a time, opting for the next right action. So if something gets in your way, if an animal runs into... Okay, this is a nice analogy here with the train track. If you're on a train and an animal runs out and you run it over, sorry... <laughs> um what are you gonna do are you going to go out of the train and pick up the animal and move it over and bury it or whatever you want to do with it not part of this not relevant to the story or are you going to pick up the entire train and create a new track for the train so that you don't have to move the animal think about it right don't take the harder path is the point that was a ridiculous analogy anyway will kind of about free will i figure with this card you could be dealing with a will because that's, i find that card so weird decisions require actions you are in control of your own decisions in life no one else's and passion passion and will determine a great proportion of your success you will persist you possess free will which means you should focus on yourself first and avoid placing your will over others The path. 
That's interesting. The way is open for you. The path is illuminated. Begin the journey now. Respond and take action. We must be courageous and move forward. I am open and responsive to the opening to the opening of the way. Hmm. Oh, these things are the same. It's just like follow the path. You're literally on the right path. Don't veer off it. Don't take the hard way. Don't build a new track because you ran over an animal. I'm losing it. This is my last reading. I'm so tired. I wasn't even going to do any of these today, but I was like, if I don't finish these, it's not going to happen. And I'm already like five days late because it was my birthday and I got distracted and whatever. Geese on a quest, migration. So if you hit a bird, I'm really starting to lose it. <clears throat> Just keep going. Like Thomas the Train. Oh my God. The Magician. Your manifestations are coming. Double rainbow, divine intervention, duality, perfect timing. So things are going to happen how they want. And if you veer off the path, right, there will be divine intervention to kick you right back on that true north path. Sun, happiest card in the tarot. Yes, energy, power, climax, fulfilled, pride, radiant success, happiness, right? These are all very vague readings, though. It's like nothing, none of these readings have been like, they're coming home, or third party. They've all been like, every one of these has been like, it's coming, relax. The high priestess. And that's the thing is, we all know something's coming. And we're like, where is it? When is it coming? Who is it? And it's like, you can't screw up the path to the north. You can't. Aquarius, the star. It's about... Wishes, right? Two to four weeks could be dealing with an Aquarius. Steelmate. We're in a steelmate and that's when we just start to freak out. We're like, I don't understand. I thought it was coming now. Blah, blah, blah. Right? But it all is happening for a reason. I keep looking back at this compass card. Sorry, I'm very like heated right now. Like, just follow the compass. How many did I pull? One more of these. mask you're not supposed to see it yet you're not supposed to see exactly how this path plays out yet all right eight of wands communication we will be waiting on communication but it's not this also says all types of communication could be waiting on communication for somebody. Or it could be traveling. It's also traveling. The world. You have completed your cycles, right? It is now time for you to go into the next cycle. But it's just not quite time for that new cycle to begin, right? A little bit of a stalemate before you are on to the next thing, right? Magician, again. Two magician cards. Your manifestations are coming. They are on the way. Just stay on the choo-choo train. Ace of Pentacles. Stable new beginnings here. I think that's really it. This was the shortest reading so far. Probably because I'm very tired. Let me pull you one more card from some deck here. Let's see. Let's do one more compass card. Oh well. Nope. Too many. Why do I keep calling them compass cards? They're not compass cards. They're maps. Enchanted map. Here we go. Make a choice. You have a choice to make. Give the choice to, what did I say? Move the animal or create a whole new train track. Stick on the same path. <laughs> All right, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, it's not even 10 minutes yet. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's wait. 10, yeah, 10 minutes. Oh, all right. Now it is. <laughs>